Uh, I seen a very little a bit of this video, and I was interested. This is by Venom Snack. He makes some pretty decent videos. I haven't watched all of them. I just watched a few. Why are females ugly and men so frail in video games? It looks like it kind of tied into everything that we've been talking about, about people pushing the message, the degradation of society overall. And the video games seem like they've been in the forefront at this moment. First, you know, it was the movies, it was the comics, they destroyed all that shit. And now it looks like video games for the past couple of years have been underneath, like, heavy siege with this stuff. So I'm curious about this. I want to see the rest of this one. If you think I'm going anywhere, I'm only going to get worse. If you think I'm going to stop making things oh my that God. offend you and piss you off. You have no idea how deviant and degenerate things can get. It looks if pretty you degenerate. Think people like me are going away, that we're going to stop making your art and your movies and ruining the things you love. You have no fucking idea. Right there. We will take everything from you. Because right there. It was never yours to begin with. Lately, I've been playing the recent. Yo, yo, wait, hold up. He, he, that was perfect. This is everything that I was talking about beforehand. When I say that these people are not interested in engaging in a dialogue, their goal is to become a mini dictator, to change exactly what you have. You aren't allowed to like what you like, but they are allowed to peddle it all over you. This is why I say you guys can make fun of them. We all laugh at them at the end of the day, but while you're sleeping, these people are obsessed with changing your media. While you go in the bed worrying about paying bills, these people ain't got nothing else better to do but to think about changing what you get, what gets it, get put in front of your eyes. Your game must be changed. The women can't be sexy. The men can't be authoritative. A man can't run his household. It's, it's, it's all it is. It's crazy. That we're going to stop making your art and your movies and ruining the A things dictator? you love. Yeah, what, is it, what do they call him now? Dictator? You have no fucking idea. We will take everything from you because it was never it yours to begin with. Lately, I've been playing the recently released ports of Suda 51, Shadows of the Damned, and Lollipop Chainsaw Repop, and they're quite good. They're brash and unapologetically confrontational. They have vision that feels like they're of a creative person's mind and not from a boardroom of stakeholders. Suda 51 games are quirky. They're full of heterosexual innuendo and violence. They celebrate beauty and the victory and over. This is like a step in the opposite direction already, but it's funny because it's like you can have extremes on both ends. Coming evil and escaping hell. His longtime partnership and friendship with Resident Evil 1's director, Shinji Mikami, makes a great deal of sense as they both fuse Western anti-establishment horror with Eastern creative prowess. They both make games as I feel like they should be, as visually appealing fantasies with rich subtext that caters to actual gamers and not activist pigs. Oh, you can't have that. <laughs> That's the demon coming Shadows out. The Dan is a fearless, whiskey guzzling demon hunter. He perseveres through the underworld by balancing darkness with light. He's on a quest. Chat, let me ask you this. Okay, because he's touching on a point about like masculinity at this point. Chat, let me ask you guys a question. Have you noticed that when it comes to video games, comics, movies, TV shows, the father is always displayed as like a doofus or an idiot or he's frail or he just doesn't understand. And the daughter or the wife is always rebellious and they're always telling him like, you don't understand or whether it be like, dad, you don't understand or it's the wife trying to explain to the husband that he's just not listening and he's like dumb and shit. Give me a one in chat if you see that. Give me a one in chat if you notice that. Men are not allowed to be men and they want to assassinate that type of character in all of these mediums. And so it is actually rare to see this in video games and stuff. Now, whenever I see, like, whenever I watch old movies from, like, the 80s or the 90s, sometimes I'm legit like, whoa, like, I didn't expect that because you just don't see it no more. A man acted like a man telling us, you know, woman, hey, shut up. We're going over here. We're doing this. And the, and the woman just going like, okay, fine. Nowadays, it's always like this boss bitch. You can't tell me what to do. Strong, independent. It's like, oh my gosh. To rescue his scantily clad and beautiful girlfriend, Paula. Wait, hey, whoa, 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 wait. With long winded cuts. Hey, give me band. Lollipop Chainsaw, Juliet Starling, is its traditionally attractive, okay, all American that. blonde cheerleader. And she's the primary character. She's like a combination of Buffy Summers and Bruce Campbell sans the jawline. <sighs> Groovy. 
she mows down hordes of zombies and expunges demons. These demons represent flawed and dead countercultures, like hippie occultists and Antifa punk retards. The main villain, Swan, is a petulant- Well, this, this, this video game predicted the future because they look exactly the same to this day. ...freak who hates the world around him and he wants to spread misery. There's nothing more hysterical to me than watching this world burn. This world, this government, this society made my life a hell. Well, exactly now, now everyone Thank is going to know a life of hell forever. He's representative of the spirit of narcissism. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's perfect. Instead of trying to make the world a better place, everyone's got to suffer just like you. Uh, dude, that, that, that's like a funny parody of almost like some evil uh, emo dude. That pollutes modernity. Instead of siding with or empathizing with mentally ill people, you plunge a chainsaw through their brains. Suda's projects on the surface are idiosyncratic crime and horror stories, but they have depth and they represent what's been lost in video games. They reject vile exterior forces and his games reflect truth about our world and decaying culture through gameplay that doesn't Wait, change Wait, oh, he's just, audience. he's running on her. I just didn't even notice that. And not fulfill indoctrination hey, quotas and push propaganda. Where are you going? Especially not gender propaganda. Oh my god. Oh, thanks, bro. Anyways, like in his games, let's look at why masculine leads and feminine female characters makes for great art, and why natural gender roles and attractive characters are an enemy of an ideology that dominates all our modern stories. And yep. unfortunately, it despises beauty and tradition so Absolutely, they don't like tradition. They want to destroy the bedrock, if you will, the foundation of what makes a good country. And that foundation ultimately is the family. And they want to erode that away. If you want to change that course, you start doing divide and conquer. And one of the easiest ways to destroy the family is to pull the father down and raise the mother up. Because what are you doing? You are countering the natural order of things as god laid it out in the bible woman was made for man not man for woman she was made to be a helper and women are phenomenal at that but then when you want to tear the man down and then put her up in this leadership role what are you going to create chaos what did satan do with eve did satan talk to adam first no he went straight to eve with the release of a terrible looking netflix tomb raider show where they turned Lara Croft into Larry, there's been a lot of discussion <laughs> on the merit of Larry class Croft. Of Lara Croft. She is one of the most appealing protagonists in video game history, and for two large and obvious pointy reasons. Well, that and she's just a fun, badass character who is essentially Indiana Jones if he was more of a sociopath. She was designed Busty to appeal Jones. to gamers in the 90s, and unsurprisingly, she became a cultural juggernaut in this era of busty females who will punch you in the throat. The allure of characters like Lara Croft, Rain from Blood Rain, and all of the survival horror girls is still more relevant now than ever, which Stellar Blade proved last summer with Eve. You know, how, with how yep. subversive Stellar Blade ended up being, it was quite unexpected. But we've been dealing with these grotesque face models and girl bosses for so long, we're tired of Nobody it. likes Ugly this women shit. In gaming is See, the thing that's bad about this too is that they're always going to push this in front of your face and basically tell you that you just need to accept it. And people across the board are rejecting this going, we don't want this in our video games. And they're like, no, 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 no. You will be lectured to, you will be told to sit down and eat what we give you. And it's like, no wonder why you guys are just losing across the board. That's all you have. The middle finger to cost lecturing. Entertainment has never been about inclusion and safety. Celebrating 400 pounds stubbled black women isn't profitable. Oh, there's my sugar. Oh, you better put that nasty ass tongue back in your mouth and rip it out. Yes, ma'am. My mouth is closed. And good looking and feminine women yes, are going yeah. to appeal to both sexes. Studies have shown that women want to play as characters who don't look like Lizzo after a hot pocket oh. eating contest. The left celebrates postmodernism. That's the thing. That's why they talk about like uh, conservative wi women versus like left leaning women, the difference of the way they look. I think what it is, this is just my little hunch. Women that tend to lean on the left are normally very insecure. Women are just insecure in general, but for the, for the women on the left, they're very insecure and they've essentially given up. Oh, I never wanted to look pretty to begin with. I'm not doing it for the male gaze. It's like, it starts going into all these coping mechanisms. And then, that, and then so what they do is they start leaning into it so heavily, they become brainwashed. And like I said, like Pokemon, they've hurt themselves in their own confusion that they begin to uglify themselves even more. Now I'm talking physically. Mentally, and what comes out of their mouth is already very ugly. 
But then it's like you physically you begin to follow that as well. Where conservative women, not always, but they tend to be more traditional. And at the same time, they want to feel feminine. They actually want to be that feminine woman. Where the left, they have these lines that are blurred. So it's, it's like that's why you start getting all these weird androgynous creatures and shit. And it's ugly. An ugly art. This art is rooted in guilt and shame because they serve masters that want to tear everything down. And this is not an exaggeration. They want to destroy society and anything left of tradition or anything good. They're actively targeting right now. Western game developers now are going out of their way to make My sure gosh. women are masculine and androgynous. And even Japan is beginning to toe the line by censoring Akira Toriyama's art. I do remember this. Yeah. They basically gave her shorts and then they gave her a, a top underneath it. Yet, the, the irony of this is that if she was on OnlyFans, that's not a big deal, right? So this is what I was saying is that, let's say that a, a, a girl turns 18, she's a woman and she wants to get married. So at 18, if she gets married, she has a husband and she wants to have children, everyone's like, whoa, 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 what are you doing? You've got your whole life ahead of you. Uh, you know, don't you want to go out there and go get a career? Don't you want to get out there and go explore the world and find out who you are and blah, 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 blah. It's goofy. Now it's a problem if she's 18, gets married, and wants to have a family. That was normal. for You, you go a thousand years ago, that's perfectly normal. Today, what are you doing? You got to go, you gotta go get a career. However, if she turns 18 and she's up on OnlyFans doing Spread Eagle and God knows what, now she's brave. What is bad, they will call good. And what is good, they will call bad. Halo Infinite, a few they love years the back, degradation. censored Cortana's iconic look oh, because my male gaze and my toxic masculinity. Dude, look at this. Everybody can agree. 2012, that Cortana was the best, man. Halo 4 Cortana was the best. And then it just started getting weird. If you don't like it, you have to suck it up because you're an incel. You're expected to stop True. noticing things. And who can forget all the gorgeous things like, 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 like God of War video Ragnarok game women, you're and Horizon incel, Forbidden West? It's not just feminine and attractive women that are being erased, though. Masculine males just aren't allowed either. Franchises yep. like Gears of War and Call of Duty are LGBTQ-friendly slop with trans flag-colored bullets and short-haired female protagonists. This was one of the dumbest things that they could have done. Uh, let's just call them trans rounds is what I'll call them. Especially, guys, you know that they've been hiding that those public pew-pew events that they've been doing have almost all been people that have been, uh, let's say, associated with that flag. So stupid. Yes. Men can't play as strong leads or be united by any common conflict. They have to be emasculated and frail. The powers that be yeah. are making sure no one can oppose them in the future. Jacked guys with rocket launchers and chainsawing aliens and banding together to defeat an infection plaguing their world is high quality entertainment. And that fading away is just anti-art. Any whiff of nationalism, especially of the American variety, has to be vilified immediately. That's been going on for a long time. Try 80 plus years since World War II. This modern war on masculinity and femininity is essentially a war on truth. If a nihilistic worldview of Gnosticism and Luciferian philosophy is regurgitated hard enough, that truth simply doesn't exist or is just hidden to a select few, then- Right, and there's an irony in that statement. It's a self-refuting statement because there are people that are so mentally ill that they'll say stuff like truth doesn't exist. Truth doesn't exist? Is that statement truthful? That's a self-contradiction. It's like, it's, it's ridiculous. Truth doesn't exist? Is that statement itself true? Because if it's true, therefore it's false. So that's why like, you get these people that have hurt themselves in their own confusion. They don't even know what they're saying anymore. All truth is relative. Well, is that statement relative? The hope behind this propaganda is that traditional roles of men and women will die off. People will stop having families. They'll be faithless and directionless and completely addicted to junk. Hedonism is profitable, yet also highly destructive. It's like Huxley said, a really efficient totalitarian state would be one in which the all-powerful executive of political bosses and their army of managers control a population of slaves who do not have to be coerced because they love their servitude. Huxley is talking about normies and NPCs here, the slaves that are unknowingly under a tyrannical rule and freely I see you plastic, the ideology yeah. that they're told. Like Lennon's use. No, I, I agree with you. And that's the thing is that they're always taking these female characters and stuff and they're making them insufferable. 
The, char the female characters that used to play a supporting role, they're now trying to push them into a dominant role. Especially like, um, I don't know if anybody here has actually played World of Warcraft. I've played it since it was, it was uh, released and everything. But man, the push. All the ma This is like one of the biggest tropes. And you're going to see it across the board of all different mediums from games to movies, everything else. Uh, if there was a, a man who was in the leadership role, he dies off. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he's got a daughter that now must take up his mantle. That has been overplayed so many times where the daughter is now the new character that takes over and daddy's gone. Every time, it's just, it's stupid. Full idiot. They let their emotions dictate their entire worldview. Video games and escapism in general feels more natural and more engaging when in hearing the stories that represent reality and a universal human experience. We can choose to not be like that useful idiot. Seeking truth is inherently masculine. It's in our blood. Men are called to overcome the world and seek truth. Storytelling is an essential part of being human, and we've let activists control our stories and shame us for so long now. They've dictated the cultural shift, and it's led to it both an impoverished mind and impoverished bodies. Saving the world from nihilistic clowns like Final Fantasy VI, or shooting a demon in the face like in Doom, connects <laughs> with people because it's tied to myth. And human and that well at the same time too is that people are always like especially dudes you're putting yourself in that situation like yeah that's what i would do yeah like it, it gives you like that adrenaline pump like yeah man i'd be grabbing that demon to tear him apart that sounds badass let's go play that game now they want to lecture you about like oh, you gotta be nice to everybody you gotta accept them it's like stop i don't want to see this shit no more this is also why i say you give them an inch they'll take a mile there's there's a reason why that saying is so popular this is why when people talk about like Baldur's Gate, Cyberpunk 27-7, it's like, that's not a big deal that you can be in all these open relationships in these video games and stuff. I don't buy those games. I don't want to play them. I have zero interest. Oh, but it's such a small part of the game. I'm not interested. Summerman, two bucks. Thank you, my good man. And we know Romans 828. I'll go take that. I'm not sure if I remember that off the top of my head. Is this reprobate mine? Let me see. Romans 828. Oh, okay. And we know that uh, in all things, God works for the good of those who we love in him. Okay. I thought uh, for some reason, I remember in uh, Romans as well, it talks about the reprobate mind. And I think that one, that's, I think the reprobate mind is an amazing thing. It just talks about people that, that are like pigs that roll in their mud or roll in their own filth and they relish in it. It's not, it's, it's gotten to the point where they celebrate living in their own filth and God gives them over to a reprobate mind. And then they, instead of, worshiping the creator they worship the creation and that they know exactly what they're rebelling against it's not that they don't know god but they know that he exists but they actively and openly reject him and i'm like that's exactly what we're seeing here today desire going against traditional human and gender roles in entertainment makes everything feel creepy and unappealing preservation and looking to the past for art is appealing since ours right now is rotten but we can't simply ignore what's being spread around us and that's the real issue I have with the idea that people often share with me in my comment section. They're looking for that moment of relief, which I understand. Just because you do not take an interest in politics doesn't mean politics won't take an interest in you. These exactly. These political messages look... No, exactly. And that's that's also why I talk about give them an inch, they'll take a mile. I had a... Uh, well, I had a couple of friends, but I had one friend in particular where I would talk to him about political issues and he was just like straight up... He's like, I don't care. He's like, I don't care who is the president... I don't care what they're going to pass. I don't care about anything. And, and essentially what he said is the only thing I care about is that I can turn on my computer and play my games. And I'm like, okay, like, fair enough. You got the freedom to do that, but don't think that it's, gonna, it's not going to come for you. Now look at video games. Now look at them. Now it's nothing but political message in front of your face, forced every time. And they're changing all the old video games. It's the same thing they do with the movies. These are activists. It, we're not talking about like some old pol uh, politician dude sitting up on a chair, like, you know, rambling all day. We're talking about activists that are also going to be pushing this shit in front of you. That also has to deal with politics. To indoctrinate and they're pure cringe. And I think it's time to take back what is ours, whether it's art or our culture and our people and what women and men are supposed to represent. They can't destroy us. Not if we work together and not if we believe God forbid in they have a defined role, right? Truth. Chop. But isn't that funny that they themselves, because they try to deny who they are, 
they walk around aimlessly and confused. And this is why whenever they try to affirm a different gender, they want to get you to affirm that as well. So they're looking at themselves and they're saying, okay, today I'm going to uh, identify as a dragon. And then they demand that you call them by their stupid dragon pronouns because they need that validation, that external validation. Yet, when a man and a woman understands their roles, they're married, they have a stable life, they have children, things are going good for the most part. Why? Because that's the natural order of things. And who would have thought that when you go against nature, you're going to hurt yourself in your confusion? It's sad. But this it also comes with looking for this external uh, source of acceptance. You couldn't accept yourself, so now you demand that others accept you for the decisions that you've made. And the answer to that is no, I will not role play with you. That's, if you want to role play that, that's up to you. I'm not engaging in that. 